about it. Hi, I'm Sam from the Barnwell branch and we're doing um, a special edition on this Christmas day of Hungry Librarians. Um, I decided to do sugar cookie truffles. Um, I got these at Walmart and right now, today, since today is Christmas, when you're watching this, today is not Christmas, but you should be able to get these cookies. Uh, let me show. They're red and green at Walmart, probably on clearance. Um, and what we're going to do, I'll chop those up. I'm going to take these out and move this. Oops. All right. My children are laughing. So we're just going to kind of rough chop these like that. Oops, I did that, weird. And I'm gonna put it into this bowl. I already kind of started to mash the cookies, but, and then I have this, it's for mashing up meat. Um, but it works for this. You could even use a potato masher. If you wanted to, you probably could use a, um, food processor to mash these up, frosting and everything. Now it is still pretty dry. You can even use this on, if someone made you sugar cookies that were maybe too dry for your liking, you could even use those if you wanted to kind of change it up. So I'm, I have some pre-made um, Italian, not Italian, white buttercream, just plain buttercream. And I'm gonna add some in it, into this cookie mixture. And we're just gonna mash it together until it kinda, I don't know, makes a ball. Because what you want eventually, you want it to be wet enough with the icing that'll stick together. If you want, you can make your own icing for it. You could buy just the fro cans of frosting at any grocery store and use that to save time. I'm gonna add some more, I think. They are very sweet, the truffles. We're just gonna keep kind of mashing it together. I did want to add, I have almond extract, and to me, sugar cookies taste like almond. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit in and dump it and then mix it. Hi, Henry. Fun Freddy cake. Fun Freddy cake? What are you talking about? Well, my five-year-old's in here now. He's six now. Oh, yeah, he's six now. Sorry, Henry. Uh, I'm recording for the library. So So you got to get out of the way. you got to get out of the kitchen. What? <laughs> You'll see when it's done. All right. Where is that spoon? I think we have enough frosting in here. I'm not talking. <laughs> uh, it's getting wet enough right now. Maybe you can kind of tell, I don't know. It's starting to form together. Things are starting to stick, but I can't seem to get to the bottom. And so when you start mixing, I need something to set this on. I'm gonna bring my cutting board back because this is kind of getting in the way. Because you don't want it to be super dry because it won't stick together. 
So it just kind of, unfortunately, this is one of those recipes things where you're just kind of eyeballing it until it looks right or feels right. There's some big chunks in there still. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I think I need to add a little bit more frosting. Okay, we're gonna add some more frosting. Now we're just gonna mix it in. Did I bring, okay, I do have that. We're just mixing it. We're getting there. All right, I think I think I'm just gonna work with what I got right now. And I have this tiny, can you see it? Yep. Tiny little scoop, it's not, it's a cookie scoop. I think it's for a mini cookie. Um, it's not a regular size. Sam, your husband has a question. Yes. Have you ever used your hands to mix it to get the right feel or does that just become a bigger mess than it's worth? It's normally just too messy. Okay. Cause I mean, you're gonna use your hands to make it into balls. But if you use your hands to mix it, I find that it's just too hard to do anything else. Okay. Oh gosh. All right. So we're going to take the mini ball size and we're going to kind of roll it as best as you can. Oh gosh. Right when I get it. Okay. And then we're going to put it on a cookie tray and you just do this until you use it up. They're very similar to cake pops. If anyone was at the cake pop well, program I did, goodness, back before Corona times, mm -hmm. we you just did. took cake and frosting and made it into balls. And then right now I have the hot, the crock pot melting the almond bark. If you could show that. Mm -hmm. If you are making anything with almond bark this is the baking psa for you candy making psa hot chocolate bombs you need the almond bark hot uh, chocolate chips do not melt correctly for that and some if you had white chocolate chips for hot chocolate bombs it, it won't melt they're stabilizers in um white chocolate I've done it too many times in white chocolate chips and it will not melt you will have a ball of white chocolate that does nothing that has seized into yes so <laughs> I am still waiting on my white chocolate to melt in its little crock pot so I'm going to finish making up some of these balls and then um, putting them in the freezer or it's so cold outside right now. If you wanted to just set them out outside, you could do that too. So they set up and then next we'll dip them in chocolate. All right, so my white chocolate is pretty much melted. Um, I use this little crock pot to melt cho uh, the chocolate in because it makes it a little bit easier. And then I can unplug it and these are pretty good and frozen so we're just gonna take one and roll it in the chocolate this is always kind of a test run for me all right and we're just gonna use the one fork maybe I can get away with one fork and I have this silicone pat uh, silicone mat um, because I ran out of wax wax paper so we're just gonna keep doing it and I suggest only doing one at a time if you put too many in, then you kind of, you cool off the chocolate too fast. And then you got a mess, so. Oh, and while they're still wet, I forgot about this stuff. I'm just, cause I'm making these for some Christmas presents too. Oh gosh. I'm gonna put some sprinkles on it. So they look a little festive. You could do this for any time of year, 
with any kind of cookies. If you just want to make sugar cookie truffles for whatever reason, just for fun, for Christmas, you could put whatever sprinkles on it. You don't even have to put sprinkles because they'll still taste delicious. So yeah, if you have any extra sugar cookies or you find them on clearance, this is a good way to make a different treat that you wouldn't otherwise have. Have a Merry Christmas and we'll see you in two weeks.